Now today I am going to talk about software notebook LM that has been launched recently and it has going to completely change how education is done, perceived. So let us dive down directly without uh, further ado. So firstly we would be thinking of that uh, why a medical student or a, someone with a medical you know, who has relation with medical field dive down into it when you already have sources like chat GPT and all and they are working wonderfully. So why should we be switching to these all these things and how can this be helpful. So once one of the deceive the strength of the chat GPT is that it, it can bring information from anywhere and that is it's also its biggest weakness that is it can uh, access those garbage websites and from those garbage sites it can bring garbage informations and that would ultimately transform into garbage outcome. So uh, what uh, this notebook LM is going to do is that it is going to standardize what your study. For example, I am starting off with uh, how uh, it would help, it will be helpful to a uh, medical student. Then I would be talking about how it will be helpful in a postgraduate medical student, and then uh, afterwards I would be talking about how it will be helpful in a, a practicing doctor clinic. So let us dive down into it. So it has uh, so in now uh, for one thing you have to understand that in notebook LM we have limited the sources of information that it can be that it can use and it will apply all the artificial intelligence only to the information that you upload and right now Google has allowed four out uh, that is allowed 50 such sources and I don't think that you would require such number of huge sources right now but as things uh, will proceed then this will definitely be increasing. So what are the sources that you can definitely uh, you can uh, access? One of the things is that you can access through Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides and from that you can always uh, scrap the information that is required for yourself and use it for your education purpose. So how come this will be helpful? today for me as a student if I suppose I am doing my undergrad and uh, how it will be helpful to me when I have already have PDFs for, uh, in front of me. So uh, see th this is not going to uh, very much change how you basically absorb the information but wherever there is a lot of correlation required there it can help. For example if you want to study chromophobe carcinoma now chromophobe carcinoma in pathology chromophobe carcinoma in surgery so now when you bring those sources and you try to mingle it here so at this only place you would be able to uh, study that chromophobe carcinoma from a perspective of a pathologist how he, he or she is seeing a chromophobe carcinoma and then from a surgical point of view you would be seeing that how one is perceiving those chromophobe carcinoma and would be a really a excellent thing because right now what we were grappling with is that multiple we had multiple sources of information and everybody was in their own intellectual ego pathologists would be saying that no surgeons are not right surgeons would be in their own zone that okay pathologists are not right and somewhat we medical we medical student used to box down in between these two but right now those things are not going to end because ego will always be there but you would be better equip yourself with the knowledge that if su surgeon is saying something then what are the limitations what are the conditions that he is uh, assuming and what is the pathologist thinking what he is assuming so right now when you uh, bring those information at one place then you would be able to better compare earlier what it was happening earlier you would use to open uh, pathology book robbins and then after the, that uh, you will be opening your surgical book that is Bailey and all and now you would be studying a particular paragraph opening and particular uh, studying a paragraph from chromophobe carcinoma in pathology then going towards chromophobe carcinoma in surgery and it would involve a lot of time lot of energy and at the end of the day uh, not a very much a productive outcome because you would still not be very much sure what you have to say in front of whom and like that and medical science is like that I guess issues will always be there and that is a healthy thing. So moving on to the, uh, how this Google thing Google Drive thing will help you 
I have not explained those things. Now, how it will help you in web from websites or YouTube? For example, now from website, you can go to the renal carcinoma uh, cancer society's websites, and from there you can uh, provide a link here, and this will software will automatically go on th those websites, and it will again bring those information from those websites, and then provide you with the summary and everything. Again, for a YouTube, how you in YouTube that uh, is going to help you. For example, if you have as an excellent lecture of uh, renal cancer or an uh, excellent lecture of a whole of a pathology, but right now you are not even positioned to go and search for where the teacher have explained uh, pathology. What is the timestamp of uh, chromophobe renal carcinoma in the YouTube timeline? If you will not be able to, you are not able to get that. So, uh, th what uh, this software does is that it will automatically subtitle everything what in the what is there in the youtube summarize it for you and then uh, you can always see those information and it will mm, providing you with information in a fraction of minute so and now i'm going to tell you a very uh, uh, funny thing from a perspective of a youtuber medical youtuber who was uh, a year before was trying to you explain you things so what I was doing is that let us go to the uh, chromophobe renal carcinoma. So this is the YouTube link. Now this is what this was the site. Uh, this was the YouTube video that I was talking about. So this is the, uh, now copy and whatever I have talked about <laughs> this software has done it within the <laughs> two or three seconds and. <laughs> I don't know. I should be happy regarding it, or I should be <laughs> sad because um, back in in a year back, this video took around a day for me to plan, pub, uh, think, and then publish it on YouTube. Now, what YouTube is doing that within two or three seconds, it is going to provide the gist of whatever I have said in that video, and let's see that. So what I have said in that video is that I have discussed the uh, mnemonic devices that there can that can be used for learning the chromophobe renal carcinoma. So I have said all these things in that YouTube video. You can go and uh, check that out. And I have showed, said those things one year back. Now what this software is doing is that you just have to post a link of that uh, YouTube video and just you have to write the mnemonic devices that can be used to recall chromophobe carcinoma and it, this is going to just summarize whatever uh, I have said and the thing is that you don't have to go for uh, each and everything uh, and uh, ho ho listen for a whole but uh, right now now you can read this all information within 30 seconds I guess let us do that chromophobe carcinoma associated bird hog dupe syndrome you can remember this associated by visualizing the white word chromophobe chromophobe white word that was what I was talking about in this picture video so Chromophobe has resin like nuclei again this is uh, this grapes grapes are ultimately used for making resins to resins like nuclei and again then hails colloidal now hails is hail storm and then it is going to provide rainbow like thing and this is the hails thing uh, that is used for staining the chromophobe renal carcinoma so what right now right now i'm saying is that what you i explain to you in two minutes and you would definitely be just uh, getting those information only in two minutes because that is a very passive uh, kind of information giving so you will require at least three to four minutes to process all those things and here it has given uh, it has undone whatever i have said whatever i have planned and then it has brought down to this and then directly now you can save it to your notes now this all this workflow has on all this workflow will just revolutionize your how you take notes uh, notes in lectures and how you save notes and then now you can always use these notes and transfer it to whatever notebook you are using whether it is cola notes or notability or good notes so what my point is that see uh, earlier what you will you would have done this is that you would have gone to this video then you would listened and jotted down all the relevant points and then you would have summarized and all 
but this software is doing everything for you what uh, right now what you have to do is just be present there and apply your brain to learn this info sort uh, this information and everything is sorted so this is how you can use a youtube link now this is youtube and now you can always use a copy text also and you can use screenshots also you can drop screenshots and everything you can drop audio lectures also suppose you, you have listened you attended our audio lecture in your uh, institutes and you want to don't want to uh, listen to whole of the audio but you just want to listen to the part that chromophore renal carcinoma has been dealt with and then just you can upload that and this will subtitle summarize and provide you with that all sorts of information and that is a very revolutionary thing and those who adapt will somewhere get good grades in the examination and some who are no those will have to put a lot more effort to get to that grade okay so this is how this software will, is going to transform for medical students that are in present presently in their undergraduate now for postgraduate it now for postgraduate whatever i would be saying this slightly would be controversial thing so i would i'm saying that research should always be based on something unique and on some unique criteria and it should not be plagiarized but uh, unfortunately that is not the uh, case scenario in the real time world but apart from that you just were those who are doing their researches diligently they can use also use these softwares how uh, just because most of the research papers are lying behind paywall and what you can do is download that pdf and then upload those pdfs and then uh, you can have youtube lectures websites of these societies uh, of this renal cancer societies that you can always upload here and then the text and the audio that whatever your guide or someone has told you and then all those informations can be deduced summarized and just you have to type the information it will tell you the information that you want it would also tell you the source and that would be help you helpful in your uh, bibliography or citation that uh, at the end of the research paper that you would be publishing so in postgraduate student can also benefit from this software now how can a doctor a real practicing doctor can use it so uh, see uh, uh please understand that a uh, doctor has to deal with from hundreds to thousands of patients on a weekly basis and so what it he can do is that he, he or she can uh, generate a transcript of all those videos and audios or whatever is the communication medium and built at the same time respecting the privacy and the doctor patient privileges and use those pdfs and all use those uh, like uh, use those interactions to upload it here and then look after the patient outcome related to the patient outcome how a particular line of inquiry or how a particular line of history taking is affecting the outcomes or how a particular doctor is able to get a better outcome so all these things can, you can put it up here and then it will summarize it for you it can also summarize it can uh, it, it can also open new avenues of research outcomes and now an individual now an individual in his in his or her own capacity can uh, upload those uh, informations and he can he or uh, she can single handedly come with something that is uh, as radical as dual antiplatelet therapy for example 15 years back dual antiplatelet therapy was uh, unheard of but so what if someone with uh, a patient who is been suffering from had a heart attack but he was accidentally being given two uh antiplatelet drugs or he was giving one antiplatelet drug for the heart and, and one antiplatelet drug for something like stroke and both of these things uh, combined and then ultimately you saw that there was a, okay fine the uh, those who are using uh, two drugs have a better patient outcomes or better patient survival and that you can up, uh, you can always discuss with it peers so uh, this is now what right now i'm saying is that this is just the surface it is upon you how to use this software and dive dive deep down into it and come with your own 
deductions and this is going to really change the how a medical education is absorbed researched and then applied it on the patient so this is all that uh, i can come up with notebook lm software that can be used for in the healthcare industry and i can guarantee you this whatever i am <laughs> saying right now is going to be redundant in coming <laughs> two or three months why because <laughs> people are going to come up with much more better thinking much more better application than me but till now but till then you can always listen to this and write down in the comment section how you would use in your education or in your uh, practice or in your post grad and uh, i will try then to include it in the next videos and all and that will helpful make our community get stronger thank you